Good morning, Andre. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? Fantastic. We need this book. I'm, I'm serious. We need this book because there are a lot of people that are transitioning in life that are connected to an image that is no longer part of their story. And we need a story like mm. this to where we can finally step free like you have. Mm-hmm. Man, I appreciate that. Um, I agree. I agree 100%. And that's what this book is all about. So I'm excited for uh, the world to officially get this book on November 14th. And um, a little scary proposition on my end, putting it all out there like that. But, you know, when you feel fear, you got to go anyway. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you about that fear, because when you put your word on a page, it no longer belongs to you. Now it's more than just a story in a sports magazine. This is your story. This is my story. These are my words. And, you know, it, it got to the point for me where it was becoming selfish mm-hmm. to not share my, my my stories, my pitfalls and what I overcame. And, and that's essentially what this this title is all about. It's like you can live behind that image that you've never done nothing wrong and you haven't overcome nothing and you've always been at this level. But it's more powerful when you can take the time to say, let me take you back to how this started and share my journey with you. Yep, yep. See, when was that planted inside your path? And the reason why I bring that up is because so often we we wait too late to share the story and we rely on a memory that we're going to rewrite. But yet you're standing up saying, look, this is the way that it was. You can learn from where I've been. Just think it was timing. You know, everything is timing. And, you know, I knew early on, you know, eight, nine years ago that I wanted to tell my story. I just didn't have the courage to do it. And, you know, the closer I got to retirement, the more that burning desire was coming to the surface and I couldn't deny it. And it, 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 I'm going to be honest with you, you know, it would be a little bit cowardice for me to not share this story and the many stories that are in this book, whether it's family, yeah. whether it's my personal stuff, even stuff that I'm going through to this day, it, it was getting to the place where you you have to do it. This is no longer a, a do you want to. And I'm just grateful, man, I answered that call. Um, and again, it was a timing thing, right? Like I never wanted to lead and promote fights with family history and, you know, rags to riches story. We heard that story before. Mm-hmm. When I came on the scene in 2004, I was fresh out of all the mess, fresh out of the pit that I had been in for several years. And I just wanted people to embrace me and learn who I was in present day. But at some point, you got to reach back and you got to share the the total journey with people. You use the word retirement. I call retirement the power of choice. And that's what I feel in this book. This has all been your choice, Andre. It has been. uh, I'm grateful for that because a lot of people in general and specifically athletes don't get the opportunity to walk away when they want to or have that kind of, you know, uh, control. And even before I really understood what leaving on top meant, meaning that the sport wasn't pushing me out, I was telling the sport goodbye. Um, I'd seen so many fighters throughout the years not be able to do that, have this arc where they came from nothing, they made it into something, and then all of a sudden I see the sport just dismissing them because they're too old or they no longer have it. I just didn't want that to be my story. Mm -hmm. So I studied guys like Jim Brown and how he walked away, Barry Sanders, Napoleon Kaufman, my pastor. I looked at these things and said, man, I like this, man, how they did it, and I want to do the same thing too. I was going to say none of those guys were afraid to share their journey because they know they lived it and it doesn't belong to them it belongs to tomorrow amen i agree so what do you do in those situations where i'm I'm a third degree black belt i've been in many many tournaments where i'm inside that ring but there's still that side of me inside the heart that's going i want to get back in there but you know you can't do it how do you face that moment of i used to be it's tough yes it's tough because my I, i think when i'm 60 I'm going to still believe if I got a good enough training camp and if I have enough time, I could probably go in there and be some of these young guys. <laughs> that switch is not turning on. Um, so sometimes I'm reminded from my wife, babe, you remember how you were feeling when you retired? You remember how your body felt and with all the things you were saying? I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Or, you know, my pastor may remind me, hey, man, don't don't mess up what God did. Don't mess up your legacy trying to chase something that's no longer there. So reminders like that. Or, you know, I get up and I start hearing my knees and my my ankles popping and clicking. Sometimes that's all the reminder. 
<laughs> so true. I, I can feel that even as we speak. Now let's let's talk about oh, yeah. what you what you've got here. The champion's journey of faith, fighting, and forgiveness. Forgiveness is number three. I love that faith is number one. The fight. Now a lot of people want to run away from the fight. You did not. Man, fighting has been, you know, a metaphor for my life, you know, whether it's in my personal life or in the ring. And here's the thing, you know, people think that like fighting is just for violent people. No, no, life is a fight. Mm -hmm. We all are going to have to face things. We all are going to have to overcome things. And when you overcome, you're fighting. It's a form of fighting. It's a form of, you know, digging your heels in the ground. Me, I pull on my faith in God. I I, 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 I draw back on the past victories and, and I remind myself that, man, if I could do it, then I could do this. I can overcome this as well. That is a form of a fight. So whether you think you're a fighter or not, we all got to learn how to fight when it's time to fight. Now we shouldn't be fighting every day, oh, yeah. but there's times in our lives where we got to, we got to put our, our metaphor gloves on man. And we got to be willing to face a situation and fight our way through until we get to the other side. This book is so much what Stephen Furtick was talking about at Elevation Church this past week. He was talking about walking with a limp. We all have a limp, but what you've done, you may have that limp. You may be older than what you once were, but you are still living in the light. And I love that about about this book what people got to understand is that is the lion with the most scars yeah. hunts the bed <laughs> i'm in the wild give me that give me that lion right there that's been through some things that young lion right there he doesn't know too much but that lion that's got a scar down the side of his face and on his side he's been through some things and he overcame i'm following him Oh, yeah. And being in that ring, I mean, even when you're walking through an everyday world with the public around you, it's amazing how your eyes are still trained on how to move and how to get through. It's, it, that, that's not going to go anywhere. That, that's <laughs> just that's just how I'm hardwired. And um, no matter what arena I'm in in life, I'm still applying those same principles. Absolutely. Absolutely. Where can people go, Andre, to find out more about your journey? Because they're, they're going to get the book and they're going to go, what? I got to read about this guy. Man, you can go to my social media, Andre SOG Ward. You can go to Twitter at Andre Ward. Um, and I'm pretty active on those on those uh those networks. And um, or you can just hit Google because there's a lot of information about there on me and, and what I'm doing uh, at present day. And um, you know, I'm 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 in ministry, you know, uh, speaking is one of my and I go to colleges, I go to churches, and that's just something that uh, that, that I'm very passionate about and a gift that God gave me. So I may be at a college or a church near you sometime soon. Oh, God has blessed you so well, man, so well. Thank you. Please come back to the show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you for the time. This was great. Well, you be brilliant today, okay, sir? I got you, brother.